Hey guys, I'm Amanda, the Botanical Burnett, and welcome to my channel. So, I am going to give you guys a little bit of an update on how my plants did while I was away on vacation. A couple videos ago, I posted all about how I was preparing my plants for while I was away on vacation and some tips and tricks on what to do when you go on vacation and how to keep your plants alive. I try to give people a little bit of a peace of mind. Sometimes when you have a lot of plants like I do, it's a little nerve wracking to come back and just be like, oh, what if all my plants are dead? You gotta live your life, you gotta do your own thing, and you can't let your plants hold you back. <laughs> so, I wanted to create that video just so you guys can kind of at least prepare your plants and at least like get your plants in like a good care routine and some stuff that I have done in the past when I've left my plants. Although this was a three week trip. So I just got back a couple days ago and this was a three week trip. So this was the longest that I've ever been away from not only my plants but from my cat and from my house. So we had a lot of preparations to do, but also like I had to make sure that my 80 plus plants were going to be okay without me in that amount of time. I was fortunate enough to have a friend be able to come by. I think she stopped by like every Saturday and was able to kind of like water the plants. I even told her like, you can just make sure that the topsoil is watered or at least wet just to kind of get them by but just keep in mind that when you get back from vacation you're gonna find yellow leaves you're gonna find dead leaves or this or that so it's gonna happen so i'm gonna go over basically kind of the aftermath so you guys can see kind of an update to that video and see how my plants did while i was on vacation and also what i do when i get back from vacation and what i kind of do to get my plants back in the groove and back into the state of health that they were before i left but before we get into that please like this video at the end of the video and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you're new to this channel hi i'm amanda the botanical brunette and I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel. I love to see new faces. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's talk about my plants and how they did while I was on vacation. I immediately went right to my plant room. I wanted to see kind of what happened while I was away. Now, yes, like I said, I did have someone come by and check, but I wanted her to just water. I didn't need her to clean the leaves or check for pests or anything like that. Just watering is all I needed her to do, not even fertilizing. The first thing that I noticed is, of course, the yellow leaves. It's a common thing for plants to shed leaves. I did notice that a few of my plants were a little bit more droopy and a little, and had like a little bit of like more of a yellow leaf. That happens guys. It happens when you're away for a long period of time and you don't have people like me going around and making sure that your plants are in tip top shape and just basically making sure that they at least just survive. And that's all I wanted my plant setter to do is just make sure that they survive. A yellow leaf here and there is not going to make or break the plant. So the first thing that I did when I got home is I made sure that I went around and I clipped any really kind of discolored or yellow leaves. Making sure to get rid of any of those leaves is really important because what the plant is going to do is it's going to try to drive a lot of that energy into those leaves, which in return won't be able to produce as much growth to new leaves potentially. So after I cut off all of the yellow leaves, I made sure that I went around and I checked the soil's moisture on all of the plants. I told my plant sitter that she only needed to do two weeks out of the three because the last week I would be here to water them anyway. So it was um, about a week, almost a week and a half that they kind of went without water. 
So when I got back, there were a few that were kind of thirsty, but most of them were okay. So I kind of just skipped that watering and just watered the ones a little bit lighter than I normally would, just to kind of get them back in a little bit of like a weekly routine. So I lightly watered those plants around and I just made sure that I propped up any ones that were kind of drooping and anything like that. Like my allocation behind me is kind of going a little crazy. <laughs> She's not as like, I also did move her to another side of my room. So she was leaning toward the light a little bit more versus always sitting on my shelf, which I might move her back because I kind of liked it there. Anyway, <laughs> so after you go around and you water all your plants, what I did in my video to prepare my plants is any of my propagations that weren't ready to be planted, just go in and check your propagation box and make sure that your propagations are at least rooting well, that there's no dead leaves or any maybe pass out break because it can happen and making sure that any of your plants that are well rooted can start to get repotted. I know that my peperomias were ready to be repotted so I made sure that I was getting some soil ready to get them repotted. I actually ordered some soil before I got home that should be here any day now so I can repot those. So the next thing that you'll want to do when you get back from vacation is I like to go around and check all my plants for pests. While you're away, the pests in your house will pop out. I mean, we all know any plant parent that has had plants for a while knows that pests will come out of absolutely nowhere. And it tends to happen while you're not home because they almost can sense that and they're like, oh, party time, mom's out, let's go eat all the plants and like go crazy. So I made sure that any of the plants that did have that issue that I already knew were, were having an issue, I put them aside and made sure that they were quarantined. So you'll wanna re-treat them. I found a couple thrips on a couple plants, so I made sure that I treated those again, just so we don't have another outbreak. And just kind of going around and checking every plant, making sure that the thrips or spider mites or anything didn't just pop out of nowhere and infest your plants. The next thing that I'm going to do, but you don't have to do, is I'm going to be repotting so my last video, I just showed you all the plants that I got in September. I ordered some soil, which should be here soon. So I'm going to be repotting those plants. So any of those plants that needed to be repotted are going to be repotted. Again, that is optional. If you buy plants while you're away, you can do that. But if not, they don't need to be repotted. It's not a necessary thing. It's just something that I did when I got back. Another optional thing is if you've noticed a lot of rapid growth, like I did with my pothos, you can go through and you can just kind of propagate and cut it. My pothos is touching the floor, so I want to make sure that I get it off the floor. So I'm going to cut a couple cuttings and just kind of put those in some water. I'm going to be home for who knows. So I'll be home, so I'll be able to change out the propagations if your propagations that are in the box, I forgot to mention this, if your propagations are not doing well in the propagation box, this is the time where you can actually now transfer them back into the water or soil or however, whatever method you like to use for propagation. That is a good um, time to do that. The propagation box will just kind of make them survive, but some plants do better in water, some plants do better in liquor. Some plants do better in moss. It just kind of depends on the plant. Also, when you get back, I like to just make sure um, that my humidifiers are clean and they are ready to go. And then I fill those up and I get them going. You can also, because I was gone for such a long time, I'm gonna go around and I'm going to wipe down all the surfaces just to make sure that I don't have any pests on there and it just gets dusty over time. So I'll make sure that just my surfaces are clean, but I don't need to worry about vacuuming. I don't need to worry about sweeping. And that was the one thing that I kind of wanted to highlight in my last video where to get my plants prepared for vacation is I wanted to make sure that when you get back, you're gonna be dealing with a, like a lot of plants. You're gonna be dealing with yellow leaves and watering and this and that and trying to get them back. The last thing you'll wanna do is have to vacuum and sweep and all that. That is a great peace of mind. When I got back and the plant room was clean, it was just such a nice feeling. I did have a few um, from my Maranta. I actually forgot to cut the flowers off. So I was 
left with Maranta flower petals all over my floor, but it was like a very quick cleanup and then my plant room was completely clean. So that is it. So those are just some tips that you can do when you get back from vacation. I wanted to do like an updated video. That way you guys could kind of see in real time what my plants looked like when I got back. And just to know that like your plants are going to be okay while you're away. Your plants may look sad, but in time, you'll get them back to how they were before you left. And that way you can get that peace of mind, go out, have fun, make memories. And yeah, well, that's it for today. I hope you guys all have a great day and stay botanical.